Look at Jack, look at Daddy. You, what did you say? Uh oh, the coronavirus is gone. No, the coronavirus is still here, unfortunately. Pleasure. I love you. I love you too, mate. Check the cars. Any cars? Okay. You always got to make sure there's no cars coming out of the driveway. No bread? No bread. Okay, and what else? No plastic. No plastic. No sandwich. No bread. No sandwiches. Let's go. Kids, welcome to Piss Week World. That's the most boring thing I've ever seen. For you, maybe. Well, hang on tight for our super flying fox. There's just so much to do at Piss Week World. Take a spin in one of our high-speed supermarket trolleys. 
visit our wild animal sanctuary. Or just get touched up by a 43-year-old man dressed as an ill-defined cartoon character. Piss Week World, where every week is Piss Week. You're right, you're right. All good. You're probably at the corner of the eye. Yeah, no, she's, uh, she's a blind corner. Yeah. All good. This is literally the first time that I've been on the bike in probably about six weeks, I reckon. On the bike as in on the road. I've been doing some Zwift sessions with uh, the Cycling Maven group. So yeah, we've had a few people. We've had up to 30 people do that Zwift group, which has been good. I'll link it in the description below. If you'd like to come and do a, a Zwift ride with us online, I'll, uh, I'll add you to the group. Uh, today we had a... Um, a earthquake in Melbourne. It was just outside. It was about 135 k's out of Melbourne in uh, in Mansfield. So it was it was uh, six or 5.8 on the Richter scale. So it was a big ass uh, earthquake. And Hannah and I were fortunately we were walking at the time. We were just outside doing a little walk around the block. I heard the garage door on one of the houses that we walked past. It was just rattling really, really, really bad. And I was like. Well, that's obviously the wind, but there was no wind at the time. And so it was quite crazy. And then all of a sudden, about three, four, five seconds later, we saw all these people in the street, very quiet street, dead. We saw everyone run out into the street. And uh, yeah, we realized then that it was an earthquake. So crazy times in Melbourne, man. We've got earthquakes, we've got riots in the city. We've got probably, we're the most locked down city in the world, I think behind I think there's one more. Melbourne is today in its 235th day of shutdown since the pandemic began, officially making it the city to have endured the world's longest lockdown. But yeah, 238 days in lockdown, so we're, uh, we're breaking records here. I've had a few people uh, message me an email and, and, and so on and ask me how we are going in Melbourne because they're seeing all the media... And, and all the crazy things that are happening in Melbourne with the police and the, and the protests, etc. And to be honest with you, look, luck, lockdowns suck. Um, and, and for us, life is pretty normal other than not being able to go and do what we want to do. But other than that, it's pretty, it's pretty cruisy. So I've got no complaints, but I'm very fortunate to have a job. There's a lot of industries. There's a lot of people who've lost their jobs, lost their businesses. And so these people that are protesting, etc., I totally get it. As far as activities go for the kids, I mean, you know, obviously yeah, a lot of you guys don't have kids, but, you know, we've got two young children and uh, I would imagine with older kids it would even be harder because you've got to try and keep them stimulated somehow while being locked at home. That's my troll. So, so where's the drone? Where's the drone, Jack? Here's the drone. Okay, and what are we doing? Yeah, we're not doing it. So is that the drone? Yeah, right, we'll put it over here. Put it there. Oh, whoops. The nose came off. Hang on, we'll just put that back. All right. And go. So we're going to fly it? All right, so Hannah and I have got our bikes hanging outside the house on a, uh, on a bike rack. It's under shelter. But on the front of Hannah's bike, she's got the basket. And there are some pigeons that are constantly trying to make their home in that basket. And so we're sort of done with it because they, they poo everywhere and it just it makes a lot of mess. So we've come up with an ingenious solution. Uh, it's not real vegan and we don't have any intentions on hurting the, uh, the, uh, the pigeons. But um, this, this is just a deterrent. So they nested in my bike basket and we lit them. Two years ago. No, yeah. was it? No, last year. Last year. And they had two babies and then the possums killed the babies and there were carcass body parts all around the outside. So yeah. I really don't want to go through that again. So it's yeah. better they don't nest. Yeah. So this is what we've come up with. Don't put more. I think we're done. You think so? Yeah, we're done. What about on the sides? No, no, no. Put it in the bike basket now. Beautiful day here in Melbourne. Lockdown. See, I tried to put some like chili pepper and it didn't work. So, so the chili pepper didn't work? No. I mean, we've been, we've 
I've tried some knives. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You reckon that'll work? <laughs> yeah. Now you're oh. going to set up a camera. And but watch. aren't you going to take this? I chip? can't get it out. I'll I'm get it sure. out. Hold on. You're going to get it all over you. Imagine I drop this on. Hey, oh. that would be calmer if I dropped this on my head. Oh yeah. So take the ch take the chili pepper. I don't want to touch it because the birds have been at it. <laughs> uh, you got to keep in mind, Hannah has got a bird phobia, so she can't even go near birds. Good job. <sighs> What if they land in the sides? They won't because they can't get there. They can't get there through the nails. Good job. All right. We'll see how that goes. Yeah? Yeah. It's about three weeks later after we made that little box for the uh, f for the pigeons, and I can tell you it didn't work, man. The pigeons actually came in, like slid in, in between the spikes, started pushing spikes down and just chilling out on them. I had to get Hannah's bike off, down off the rack, take the front rack off her bike and put it in the shed. And that, that sucks, really, because any time Hannah wants to use a bike, she loves using the, the bike basket thing. But uh, it is what it is. I'm going to leave you now with the last clip of this video. It is my little angel. She's turning one year old next week or this week. Yeah, this Wednesday, actually. And uh, she's just started standing up and, and like taking her first steps. So here's a video from... A I think it's about a week ago, a couple of weeks ago, uh, which sort of took us by surprise a bit. <laughs>